Wow, I am so grateful that you are connecting with me. I'm actually excited you're connecting with me. We are going into part two of 24-7 Surveillance Watch. And I'm going to say it until you really get this in your spirit or get this in you, is that you need to continue to stay connected and let's grow. Let's come out with that fight inside of us, right? We need to come out with a fight. So let's get started right there where we're at. Let's pray. God, we are listening. We are ready. We are ready to receive what you have for us today. We are going to come out stronger than ever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I'm going to go to that scripture that we shared in our last session. This is part two of 24-7 surveillance. So in Proverbs 4, 20 through 23, and it is in the New Living Translation. It says, pay attention to what I say. Listen carefully to my words. Do not lose sight of them. Let them penetrate deep into your heart, for they will bring life to those who find them and healing to the whole body. So I don't know who needs healing right now, mentally, emotionally, physically, or whatever, if it's a health issue. The words of God, let them penetrate into your heart and let them bring healing to your whole body. In verse 23, it goes on to say, so this is the title of the message, guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Guard your heart. I want you to get your phones, call God, right, and say, hey, I need to set up a, an alarm system in my heart to be able to warn me when it's not you, God. And so you call and you put that 24-7 surveillance watch over you. So often, we personally, we allow offense and bad behavior to get into us and it begins to pollute us. It begins to pollute us from the inside out. We get, whether it's a word that's said to us or something that's done to us, an action or something that was done against us, it gets inside. And then all of a sudden, a week from now, it just begins to manifest how you feel, how you respond because you're holding on to something that may, might have happened last week. That's called pollution. That hurt, that offense polluted you from the inside and now it's manifesting through the out. It's by what we're saying. So this is how the enemy comes to contaminate our hearts. He wants us contaminated. He wants us full of toxins. He wants to pollute us. When really, if God within us, if there's a fresh breath of air that we should not be polluted on the inside. We got to make the decision that we are going to put a 24-7 surveillance watch. We have to. It, it's going to affect, when we do that, it's going to affect the whole outlook of our lives, right? We got to check ourselves, check our surroundings, check what we're listening to and refuse to be contaminated. Because sometimes, whether it's the enemy or it's the person you're hanging around with, can be the person that's contaminating you. You got to be careful with who you are surrounding yourself with. Is that person the right person? Or is that person always belittling you, bringing you down, contaminating you, making you feel like this horrible person? I'm gonna tell you right now, that is not the right person. That person needs to be eradicated, meaning you love them, but you cut them off. And that's okay because you can cut people off because they're not for that season in your life or Simply, they're just not making you a better person through the inside. It's called contamination, right? That means, God, I'm going to guard my heart. You're going to help me guard my heart. You, The Holy Spirit within me is my 24-7 surveillance watch, watch, and it's going to tell me, is this the right person? Is this the right place? Is this the right job? Is this the right move that I'm doing? I'm moving to Seattle. Or is this, you, got, you, you place that surveillance watch to help you and guide you, right, through your living. So... Now, you have to guard your heart against bitterness and bad attitudes. When those negative emotions seek into your heart, they keep you from moving forward. When you're feeling that way, you're, you're not able to move forward. And I said it in the last message. The Bible says it clearly. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So today, that's another thing we got to work on, is taking inventory of what we're saying what we're watching, who we're listening to, right? 
So what are you saying today that's affecting you as a person? Or what are you watching that you should not be watching? Or who are you listening to that is not building you up? Those are things that we need to work. We need to take inventory. Um, because why? Our heart is physical and spiritual. Our heart is physical and spiritual. So it's going to take more than just watching the Sunday service. It's going to take more than putting that praise song. It's going to take you to make that commitment to say, I'm going to come out of this place and I'm going to come out strong enough from the inside out to resist temptation that the enemy has to bring to me. Why? Because God says, be anxious for nothing. God says that, they, that he has not given us a spirit of fear, but of what? Of a sound mind, of love, of peace. He gives everything that is totally opposite from the bad things that we feel. So it, it's, it, God is telling us, be anxious for nothing. You can't, you don't, you, we have to stop being anxious about the plan you have for this week or the plan you have for this year. Stop being anxious about money, about the position you're in. Be anxious for nothing. Why? God wants to protect your heart. He wants to protect you from all that clutter. Maybe we have a bunch of clutter in our lives that needs to be cleaned up. Let God be that that person that's going to come and clean it all out. Let him. How do you let him? You open up your heart to him. You say enough is enough. I'm ready for this, God. I'm tired of the same sick cycle. I mean, I, I've been in this sick cycle for the last five years, and I just feel that I should be further in life, but something keeps pulling me back, Lord. So you allow God to clear that clutter. And the moment it clears your clutter slowly, because he's not going to do it, boom, all five things in one time, because you wouldn't even know how to handle that. He's going to pull it one bit at a time. And then you know what? You're going to feel that at ease. You're going to have a peace. You're going to feel lighter. You're going to feel a little bit more happy. You're going to have that joy bubbling inside of you that, you know what, I'm able to get in my car today and enjoy this beautiful day and just be at peace where you're at. It happens in, in uh, it's a process, right? A little bit at a time. He will, he will, what is it called, prune, right? Prune everything that needs to come out of you. So you got to guard your heart. Again, need to place, and I'm going to say it, 24-7 surveillance watch over your heart. Never allow anyone or your enemy to keep you powerless. Never. Never give the power of how you feel or how you're functioning at all to someone. Never. No one has that right. So you should not give that right to anyone. Do not give them your mind and do not give them the right to control your thoughts. Christ is in you. So when Christ is in you, it, that means it's greater than anything you'll ever have to deal with. Christ in you is greater than anything you have to deal with. Why? He becomes that comforter when you don't feel well. Unshakable confidence. He's your defender, your healer, the hiding place, that strong tower, right? He becomes your security. You don't need a man or a woman to be your security. You need God to become your security. My God, don't, why would you not want that higher power to be your security? Meaning you're untouchable. You've got to get to that point where you say, you know what? Yeah. Oh, what do you mean untouchable? Meaning, do you know what? The storm comes. Yes. Life hits. Yes. But I feel I'm unshakable. Why? Because God's confidence is in you, right? This is part two. Take your notes. I want you to continue to study. I want you to uh, really dissect what is it, God, that you want me to learn about guarding my heart. Amen? So I want you to see part one, part two, guard your heart, call that security company, get that alarm system in your body, meaning Holy Spirit is your alarm, right? He will alarm you when it is not God. Amen? All right, so let's pray. Father God, I need you. I'm weak. You're strong. You're the source of everything I need this week. You fill every gap when I have all these gaps, Lord, and all these questions you answer in your appointed time. You are everything I'm not. This is why we cry today that we need you. New week, new you. I want you to stay strong. 
stay connected, stay engaged, let's grow, right? Let's grow, let's grow, let's grow. Love God, love people, serve others, change the world. Right there where you're at, we thank you, all you generous people that are giving. We thank you that you've gotten the revelation of being a generous giver. We thank you. Your generosity generates change. In Psalm 65, 11, it states there that he, he will crown the year with your goodness and your path will drip with abundance. So right now, we pray that your life, your health, your kids, your finances, business contracts are going to overflow. It's going to drip, 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 drip. Man, we should do a rap song with that. But God is going to drip abundance over your life as you give today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.